Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. And welcome to part 13 of our beginner's guide for Windows Server Active Directory. And today will be the part 1 of designing Active Directory for Contoso Financial Services. So let's dive in. So let's look at what we have covered so far. So we have covered the Windows operating system family. We have covered, say, the difference between a domain network and a workgroup network. What is the primary function of Active Directory? What is a directory service and the characteristics of a typical directory services? And Active Directory architecture. We have also seen the concept of single master operations. We have seen all the five FSMO roles. We have seen Active Directory hierarchy or the structure and we have also seen the Active Directory design models in our earlier videos. So let us dive into designing Active Directory structure for Contoso Financial Services and the agenda would be now, now we have an empty Active Directory domain Contoso.com in our last session we configured say our forest root domain contoso.com now we will design active directory structure and uh, we look at the steps in designing the active directory domain services in a in a new organization and we'll understand the active directory logical structure the active directory site topology and the domain controller planning so these are the three things we will be discussing today in designing active directory structure so let's look at what this company is all about so this contoso financial services is a multinational professional services firm headquartered in atlanta georgia united states of america the company provides accounting tax hr and payroll services to businesses operating on an international scale so this is a global company okay it works across the globe now let's look at the physical structure or the presence of contoso across the globe so the headquarter is at atlanta georgia and they have they, are, they have say 41 branch offices across the globe Austin, texas columbia columbus ohio portland oregon mumbai india and so on and so forth so the other 41 say branch offices and the head office is in atlanta georgia so deploying active directory domain services in a new organization so we are to thoroughly preparing the active directory design is essential to a cost effective deployment if the network environment is currently operating without a directory service we need to complete a comprehensive design of our active directory logical structure before we deploy active directory then we can deploy a new forest root domain and deploy the rest of the domain structure according to the design now we have already deployed the forest root domain now we are in a process of say planning the structure of our forest root domain so steps in designing ADDS in a new organization design a logical structure design active directory site topology domain controller planning so let's move on to design active directory logical structure so a logical design is a conceptual abstract design Mean means it's on paper okay conceptual so the concept is in the mind so we are drawing the things on the paper it's abstract active directory fulfills all the needs of an organization by designing a directory service or a directory structure if it provides flexibility in designing the business structure according to the current and future needs of an organization. 
so when we design the active directory structure we need to look at the current requirements and the future requirements or the let's say the we can we need to predict something from future and we have to design it accordingly so that uh, there should not be any requirement of restructuring your active directory again so i have seen many companies who have built a wrong active directory structure and they need to restructure everything so in active directory resources are organized in a logical structure and this grouping of resources logically enables a resource to be found by its name rather than by its physical location designing the logical structure for active directory domain services involves defining relationship between the containers in the directory these relationships might be based on administrative requirements such as delegation of authority okay or they might be defined by operational requirements such as need to control replication so the structure may say depend on uh, say uh, administrative requirements such as say giving authority to someone delegating authority or maybe say some operational requirements such as say controlling the active directory replication so let's look at the components of active directory logical structure objects okay like a user computer group printer is again a component of, it's a logical component domains logical boundaries for objects trees logical boundaries for multiple domains and forest logical boundaries for multiple trees so these are the components of a active directory logical structure and one of the most important components of active directory logical structure is an organizational unit or it's just called as an ou so an organizational unit is a container with an active directory which can hold users groups computers and other ou's as well so we can nest the or say ou structure it is the smallest unit to which an administrator can assign group policy settings or account permissions so we are going to see all these things in our lab sessions there are two main tasks when using ou's besides storing active directory objects number 1 delegation of management and administrative tasks within a domain to other administrators okay and users without granting them the domain admin privileges so we can say grant uh, say or delegate permissions to junior engineers to a particular ou okay or say junior people to just reset the password of all the users that's it only that much of permission nothing else and it's possible using the ou structure and the second say task main task we create ou is to link group policies so when we link a group policy to, to an ou the policies get applied on all the say uh, components under it like uh, users computers and other ou's as well so it the policy settings get inherited so we must make a note of one thing that is if you don't have a good active directory organizational unit design you are going to have problems now the major problems in active directory say management and administration is due to misconfiguration of organizational units why good ou design is so important reason number 1 group policies 
Having a good OU design will make implementing and managing group policies much easier. It's been observed, okay, that proper OU design issues will be, uh, say, reduced drastically. If you have proper OU design, say, issues will be reduced drastically if you have a proper OU design. Reason number two delegate permissions being able to delegate rights at the granular level and auditing those rights is a must a proper ou structure will allow you to easily delegate permissions at granular level so if you have a right ou structure container structure you will be able to give proper rights and you will be able to audit them as well and the third reason is administrative tasks Say, for example, modifying user accounts, using LDAP queries, reporting and bulk changes are common administrative tasks for in any Active Directory admin. So, if, admin, if Active Directory is a mess, these simple day-to-day -day activities or tasks can become difficult for the whole team. Man. So, it is very, uh, if your active directory is a mess, it, it will be very difficult to perform such daily tasks, say querying, reporting, say bulk changes on the active directory. So these are the three reasons why good OU design is so important. Group policies, delegate permissions and administrative tasks. So examples of say active directory, organizational unit structure, so it can be somewhat like this. So here, this organization has created an OU named USA and they put all the cities, the, the branch offices under USA, say Chicago, Phoenix, Boston, and they have also an office in UK. Some organizations go like this. They create an OU named Enterprise and they divide the world into three geographies, America, APAC, that is Asia Pacific, Australian continent, and then EMEA, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And then they put all the APAC countries under ASA, APAC uh, region countries under APAC, and America countries under America OU, and uh, the Middle East countries under Middle East OU. It's somewhat like this. So, benefits of Active Directory logical structure. Logical structure provides more network security by means of providing access to resources to only specific OUs. Logical structure simplifies the network management by administration, configuration and control of the network. The relationship between the logical structure of, a do, uh, of domains and forests simplifies resource sharing across an organization. And as logical structure provides simplified network management, it reduces a load on network resources and lowers the total cost of ownership. So these are some of the benefits of Active Directory logical structure. So if your if your Active Directory logical structure is say organized in a better manner, it's or, say orchestrated in a better manner, you will get these. You will be able to enjoy these benefits. So design Active Directory site topology. So an Active Directory site is a physical subnet that is connected using a high-speed connection. In a layman's language, it's just a branch office man, okay, at a different location. It's called as an Active Directory site in the world of Active Directory. And it's something physical, okay, it's not logical. Our network topology is a physical and logical arrangement of sites and connections in a network. So we can configure our site topology with say, m there are many types of topologies, ring topology, mesh, 
hub and spoke hybrid so we are going to d discuss this active directory site topology in our active directory sites and services video domain controller planning extremely important now there is a common misconception that more domain controllers would create a better and more stable environment this is again a misconception on the contrary you should restrict a minimum number of domain controllers which are absolutely necessary to manage the workload that's it minimum number of domain controllers which are absolutely necessary to manage the workload you should start with minimum number of domain controllers and gradually increase the numbers based on the workload and you can monitor the cpu and memory uh, say utilization of existing domain controllers during the peak hours okay for some days then we can decide upon do we need some additional domain controllers or not but keep your domain controllers as minimum as possible designing act to directory structure for contoso financial services now so we'll understand then we'll plan and then we will deploy so this is the these are the three steps which even i follow i understand the things then i plan it and i deploy it so the design would be the active directory design model that we have already used is single forest with single domain and 41 active directory sites and site topology we'll be using is we have will be using hub and spoke network we'll talk about the site topology in our replication sessions and forest and domain name is contoso.com so this is the design which is proposed for contoso financial services single forest with single domain and 41 sites branch offices so let's look at the summary what we have say covered today we understood contoso financial services we understood about the company and the line of business and the physical presence of Contoso Financial Services. We check the steps in designing Active Directory Domain Services for a new organization. And we also seen the design, the logical structure for Active Directory. We designed the Active Directory site topology and we also seen the domain controller planning. This was end of part 13. Hope you have enjoyed today's session. In our next session, it will be the part 2 of designing Active Directory for Contoso Financial Services. And in our part 2, we will design the OU structure for Contoso Financial Services. And if time permits, we will also deploy the proposed design. So hope you have enjoyed today's session thanks for joining and if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new please subscribe and say share this channel with your technical community and have a great day